Hey guys, this is Nishwan Kasim again, and today I ha I'm gonna do a tutorial uh, on math. I have this problem from uh, the precal book. Is under section function notation, and the problem here it said find the domain. <coughs> I have this problem. The function x, if it's less than 2 or smaller than 2 so use this equation <coughs> and if the number 2 and over all the way to number 20 so we use in this equation so first what the domain is okay this the domain is the x-axis that's the x and that's the y so this is a domain and this is the range so anytime they ask for domain <coughs> they ask for the point on the x axis or the x intercept okay so from looking the problem just looking through the problem number one said less than two but they don't give us uh, they don't give us another number to stop on it so when they say less than two they mean from negative i mean infinity all the way to two from negative uh, infinity all the way to two and on the second one they said at two all the way to at 20 or less so we get from 2 here all the way to 20 Honest. so just from looking at the problem the domain is, has to be 20 or less to infinity okay this, so this is the domain domain is 20 or less this is the domain but let's do the problem to have an idea how to use those problems just in case they ask they ask us to graph it um so let's we we draw a table let's, let's draw a table x and y and if we replace the x by one we look here is under is smaller than two so we're going to use the first one uh, 1 to the second power is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3, so here, 3 and 1. If we use 2, so 2, this this number said less than, so it cannot be 2, but this one said add 2. This represents add 2, can be number 2 and over. So 2, we're going to use the second equation which is let's say 2 2 times 3 is uh, 6 6 minus 5 is 1 and if you eat 3 3 times x <coughs> uh, 3 times 3 is 9 3 9 9 that's 4 and we're gonna use all the way to the 20 number 20 here because they add 20 so if we use 20 20 times 3 is 60, 60 minus 5 is 55, and let's, if we graph it now, let's guess what smaller number, let's say here is 5, 10, 15, and 20, and 20, and let's say here is uh, 1, please. Uh, whatever okay just from looking to the table here let's choose the last one when it's 20 when the x is 20 the y value is going to be 55 let's say here is 55 and let's say here is 20 so the point is right here and then Yes, if we point everything, we're gonna have, you know, we're gonna see the slope and everything. But I mean, the main, the main problem is this one: just to find the domain, 
we know it's going to be here from 20 all the way down to infinity this is a domain if they ask us for the range so it's going to be from 55 and down but <coughs> that's it and I hope it's clear and and um, everybody understand the logic on it and if you guys have any problem please email me to my eagle eye number one at hotmail.com and uh, my facebook page is facebook slash n as in nancy k as in king math and uh, i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you